so this is Desert Roses Litter. It's a sneak peek. I ordered them from lightest to darkest. I love this. This is actually a lynx kitten that's a dark charcoal lynx. You can tell because of the black ears, completely all blacked out ears. And then there's, there's the mask on the face. As time goes on, this face mask is gonna get darker and darker and darker and it's gonna black out this entire face. The development is very slow and takes a full year, but man, it's gorgeous. So the rosettes are always a little bit harder to see because of the way the development works on the lynx kitten. This is actually a mink, so this is a regular mink right here. And then I would say this is a mink, but I am thinking it's not a regular mink. I'm thinking this could be actually a dark charcoal mink. Um, this one is absolutely a dark charcoal mink, but you can see like the ear, you have a little darkness on the ear, but like, look, that's like practically blacked out. That's the kind of thing that you see on a charcoal. See the same way that that's blacked out. This is pretty blacked out. So you can see the mask, you know, a lot of times, like if you look on either side of the nose, there's no darkness at all. But you look at here, you can see the nose, the whole bridge is blacked out. And on either side, it's darker. So I'd definitely say that that looks like a charcoal mask to me. So I would classify this as a charcoal mink. But this one, my gosh, this is the darkest charcoal mink I have ever seen. You'd almost think it was sepia, but genetically, sepia is not a possibility. But like, look at that, that's crazy. All right, so let me show off their patterns. So here is sugar. I named them all after cookies, by the way. So we got the sugar cookie, that's white. You can see the pattern is there, but in shadow, it actually, you can see the, the pattern, the shadow a little bit more probably. Um, I'll have pictures. Here's the rosettes. I can see the, I can see the pattern from my vantage point. I'm not sure how it's gonna show up on the video. But here you got the tails blacking out. Oh my God, these guys are such fluff balls. They're so fluffy. Oh my gosh, there's a, like, reminds me of like a little polar bear. Little polar teddy bear. They're so fluffy. There's sugar. Here, these guys are really chill. They're pretty laid back. Snickerdoodle. So I'd say Desert Rose comes from my desert line. Uh, Sahara was the mother. And then there's Rose, her daughter, and then her daughter, Tundra, and then her daughter, Murad. So I actually have four in the same genetic line. Um, that whole line has something in common. They're usually very big size kittens, very big size moms, they're, and they're pretty chill. They're pretty laid back. So Sahara was always a chill back, laid back mom. So is Desert Rose, so is Tundra. Look at that pattern, that is so beautiful. No rib bars, completely broken up, well spaced. Uh, you know, I'd definitely say, you know, um, breeder quality for sure. I love that, so well spaced, pretty dark. Yeah, the pattern is just gonna get darker and darker over time. So even one more week, you're gonna be so dark. And then we got, we got Butterfingers, that was Snickerdoodle. I love that word snickerdoodle. That's why I used it. And then there's peanut butter. Here's peanut butter. You can see how peanut butter is darker even than snickerdoodle. So there's peanut butter's pattern. Peanut butter is the vocal one in the group. He's like the one that actually speaks up. Hey, I'm not happy. Well, it's like a tiny squeak. It's so itty bitty. It reminds me of like a tiny baby that was just born. Your squeak is so tiny. And there's peanut butter's pattern. Oh, oh, a little squeaky. Sir squeaketh. Peanut butter. And then we got biscotti. My gosh, biscotti. You are like a chocolate bangle, for sure. The chocolatey of the chocolates. It's like Cocoa Puffs, bangle version. Look at that pattern there. That is beautiful. That is a beautiful pattern. That's interesting the way that, it almost looks like waves. 
the way that it is like waves and then we got this size side here look at that he, he is gonna be something I'll tell you and I just love how laid back all these kittens are I mean you could pretty much you want to show off your face show off that charcoal face look at those little black ears You guys need to get out more. So far, these guys have just been chilling with mom. They haven't started the weaning process. They're still fairly young, um, just like Olivia's group. The only difference is these guys are also fat. You guys, you're gonna have to work off some of that weight. You realize that, right? He's so chubby. I just like cuddling with them. He's so chubby. I don't know. I think the, the, the chubbier, and the fluffier they are, ah, uh, it just melts my heart. You can definitely see that color variation for sure. <laughs>